Hi everybody, today we're playing Battle Chef Brigade, the Kickstarter backer demo. So I backed this on Kickstarter and got access to this demo. Uh, the game sold me on its concept and its beautiful, beautiful art style. And having played, uh, played some of the campaign in the demo, I'm happy to report that everything is going rather well as far as I'm concerned. So today I will show you a couple of missions on the daily cook-off just to keep it short. The campaign demo goes for about 40 to 50 minutes for me, so uh, actually it was probably probably a bit more than that. Regardless, I'll just show you two missions on the daily cook-off. So the game is a cross between a uh, side-scrolling com fast-paced combat RPG and a uh, cooking show. You are uh, competing in an Iron Chef style tournament where you hunt your own food. So we're going to play as Mina for the first mission, we'll play as Thrash the Orc for the second one. I really like the design of Ziggy and he was quite fun when I met him in the campaign. I don't know if he can be unlocked in the demo, I really hope he can because I want to give him a go. So we're going to play as Mina and we're against Ziggy in the forest level. And let's load up our battle. So, showing off the arena, some of the backgrounds suffer a little bit unfinished, hence the blue sort of fill-ins, but not a big deal, we are in an early demo. So, that guy's the announcer, introduces the judge, Matriarch Hug Hasgill. Now Hasgill prefers water energy. This, you get fire, earth and water energy in your meals, and to keep the judge happy or you want to cook your meal according to their tastes. So in this case I want to try and get as much water into it as I can. So we're going to introduce the competitors. Mina, that's me. You play as her during the campaign. I don't know if you're going to get to play as others. There's Ziggy, the necromancer. So yeah, I think you can see why I want to play as Ziggy. So today's theme ingredient is squid. So I need to get squid into the meal. And I need to try and get as much more water in the meal than the other elements to keep our judge happy. So here we go. Going to start off by running to the left, running right past the kitchen, go outside, and now I get to belt the crap out of some monsters and pick them up for ingredient. Pick up their ingredients. That's a carrot. I want the carrot. I can't get the carrot, I guess, I'm not sure how. And there is magic involved in this fantasy world. Hence the orcs and such. I can only carry five ingredients at a time. And so, I've got three at the moment. But you can always come back for multiple trips. What is that? Okay, I'm taking that. And give me more squid. Yes, if you saw that in the background, there is a dragon. You can fight it. It's mostly fire, as you'll probably expect a dragon. It's a little dodge move. Got some slashes. No point fighting more monsters at this point. They have dropped it all in the pantry. Now I'm going to come back in and get more stuff. So as you see, the combat's quite fluid. I'm going to let this bird actually eat the food. Oh, that one seems to have dragon meat. I'm taking that. Now, the reason I let that one get the other food is it eats the food and leaves an egg for me. So, it's an ingredient you can only get if you are patient. So, it's more than just murdering monsters for food. Now, I've got a bunch of ingredients. I'm going to come in here. What do we got? Got to go to the pantry. Got to start with a door pot, combo oven, and a combo pot. I'm going to go with the oven, and then we'll go with squid tentacle just to get that cleared away, and a squid stomach. And then from there, put it down. I've got to place it. So now, the cooking section of the game is a puzzle game. So I've got to try and match three of the same color gems to level them up. That's not going to work with what I've got. The ones that are shinier are of a higher level, and they won't match with lower level ones. That will match, and I'm going to have to start cooking while I wait for that. So, see, we've got some matching happening here. Now, they all match in different manners, depending on what kind of cooking you're doing too. I don't know what's up with that broken bit. 
first time I've encountered that. So it looks like this pot may be breaking some of my stuff. Actually, we'll put that in. Flip that. Uh, what am I doing? Not succeeding, that's for sure. But there we go. We've got we've got some earth matched up. We do want to make water dominate, so I'm going to try and match that up a little bit more. And I'm not sure how I'm going to achieve that right here. There we go. So that's a level three one. They seem to max out at three. So let's put some of those in. Got a minute and a half before this battle's going to end, so I've got to really get moving. I can't put that in. Okay. Cook. Okay, let's let's mix these gems around a bit. There we go. I feel like I'm going to have way more fire than anything else in this. So let's place another item in there. Those are broken gems. I don't know why they're breaking. I keep accidentally picking up the items instead of using them, so... Okay, that broke. I guess I'm over overcooking them? Okay, I'll pick that up. Yeah, I'll serve that. That'll hopefully be enough to win. 94 points from what I've already matched up, and then bonuses based on the the um, element. So first it's going to judge Ziggy, I think. Squid stomach and guts dipping sauce garnished with squid tentacle. Delicious. But Ziggy doesn't have that much water. I think I outdo him on that. She wishes he had more time to explore what he was doing. I think I've already beaten him. There we go, 94. Again, not enough water to satisfy her. A fairly basic treatment of squid tentacle crispy noodles served with squid stomach and plant bug stomach assortment. Okay, whatever I could find as quickly as I could. It was, however, enough to award me the win. And my daily cook-off score, I'm coming fourth. Um, I think that's fourth out of four at the moment, though. It's pretty early in the day based on time zones. So show the daily cook off once more. It'll be the same conditions. Every day they change the conditions for that and it's constantly different in the campaign demo. The challenges are completely different but this is the kind of the main, the cooking is the main event really so I'll show off this one. And I haven't tried thrash before so that'll be interesting to see how it goes. I don't know how he fights at all. I imagine he's a bit more beefy than he is speedy than like Mina. We'll just skip through this. It's going to be the same stuff because of the daily thing, so water and it'll be squid again. There's Thrash! I want to play Ziggy. Let me play Ziggy! Squiddy! And five minutes to cook another squid dish. Let's do this. I'm just walking. Oh, now I'm running. Alright. Much slower. Die, birdie. Consume... F oh, I'm gonna take that egg too. I actually need to... S I need to find a squid. I can do a flying knee. Okay. And I can consume food. I guess that's to get health back. Uh, keep accidentally throwing stuff. So I've got the squid I need. You know what? Let's go fight a dragon, shall we? For no reason other than I can. Well, he just kicked me out of his cave. Wow. Wow, I'm getting stuck. Donk. Okay, so it looks like I can't actually dodge so much. Uh, I'm not going to go in there, I'll get stomped. If you die, you drop all of your ingredients, and that's just a big waste of time, so... 
I am really not very good with Thrash. Ah, oh, that's that's going bad for me. <laughs> so I'm almost two minutes in and I don't have any ingredients. So now I'm just going to be kind of panicking and picking what I can get. I'm... Yeah, okay, I have five things. Let's go, let's go. Run faster, Thrash! Alright, let's... Okay, I'm not going to use the oven this time. We'll use support. Plant nectar, squid stomach. I can only carry three things, so... That's not actually helpful to me. Let's get the chicken breast. The other... Uh, yeah, put everything I have in there. I'm going to have to cook what I've got, so... Or at least reorganise things. Let's place more in. And then... Nah, stirring. Okay, so... That's... Oh, I need to stir. There we go. I'm still getting used to the controls. <laughs> I'm not much of an expert at this, but yeah, I can I can get through a level. So, so as you can see, I'm now rotating the pieces because I am boiling my food as opposed to as opposed to um, baking it. I've still got an egg. All right, let's add that. I guess that's sauce apparently. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get some, something useful out of this. Oh, there aren't things nearby. If you, I imagine you don't get any points if you don't serve the meal in time, so... Are you serious, Birdie? I don't have time to mess with you. Run, Thrash, run! Uh, the flying knee doesn't really speed me up at all. I just got more green. Yeah, let's do it. Right, let's keep going. There we go. I'm definitely not going to get a water bonus out of any of this. Yeah, that'll that'll have to do. So, serve my meal, and I'm fully expecting to not win this one. <laughs> So what has Ziggy made this time? Lizard leg burger topped with bull rigs and squid stomach assortment. Again, not enough water. He seems to be really into fire. Okay, 85 points for Ziggy. I'll be surprised for 65. Yeah, not enough water on my side, so I don't get a bonus for that. But I made a plant bug nectar flan served with squid stomach and chicken breast medley. Okay then. So I lost. Fair enough. Ziggy is the winner. I think Ziggy should always win. Oh well, defeat. I can live with that. I'm gonna give it one more go. And see if I can do better with the Thrash this time. And I'm not gonna waste time fighting the dragon. Planty! Ah, uh, what have I got? A plant bug wing. I need Squiddy. Wow, I got a bunch of stuff there, but not really watery. Ah! I don't even realize what happened there. Okay, chop some stuff off. Let's go get some more. I will, just, I will breathe fire at you. Let's get some berries into this. Let's get some chicken. Okay. That'll do. I'll try try to focus mostly on water, but let's see, so first I need to, what am I cooking out of, the dog, well, I'm going to use the combo pot, the combo pot lets me level the things up, if you don't use the combo pot, they won't actually level up as you saw them combining before, so that's what I learnt the hard way, not how he breathes fire to start the pot, all this game is in the little details like that. I don't know what's up with the broken bits. Maybe I've just damaged the food too much or something? Or maybe it's the stuff that doesn't really go with what I have? Or they break if I don't do something quickly enough with it? I 
really understand. I didn't see that in the campaign, so... Let's try not to use broken stuff, eh? Okay, let's... Rotate those around. I've got a couple of... This is looking a much better than my last meal. I've got a level 3, but I've got a couple of level 3 of the waters as well. I've got enough time to go get some more ingredients. Let's go see if I can get some more water ingredients into this. Squid stomach. Some eggs. What we got? I am not going to fight the dragon. Not happening. Squiddy, however, I will gladly take out. Yeah, I'm getting used to Thrash a little more now. You can see I'm actually pulling off some combos that look like I know what I'm doing in combat for a change. Let's take the Squid Tentacle. That's a level two. Well, let's go with the Chicken Breast, see what we can do with that. Okay, stirring. Um, that. There we go. And get some more earth, but I don't want to kind of outweigh my water flavors. Let's add the squid stomach. I don't know what else I can do with this, and it's looking pretty full, so I can bring that fire to the top, and then rotate that fire around over there. And again, this, I'd probably have to get more ingredients. Uh, I can make another level 3 earth, but I want to let the water be the top. See if I can do something with that berry. For a little bit of time. I expect that. That is shattering. Okay, so I guess those are flavors I lose if I mess with them too much. Fragile flavors, I guess. Um, that's fine. This will probably be enough to beat Ziggy. But I want to do better than that. Plant bug nectar. Let's see what I can do with this. Rotate that up. Uh, this isn't working for me. Oh, there we go. I can... There we go, more level 3. That, that will do. Let's, let's serve it. It looks like I'm serving Cthulhu. I'm happy with how my dish looks. That looks delicious. Let's start with what, do, what Ziggy's made. Squid stomach and guts dipping sauce served with chicken horn and squid tentacle medley. And no water at all. What are you doing, Ziggs? I've stomped him. Popo a la squid tentacle with a side of chicken breast and plant bug wing assortment. That is beautiful. I have to commend you, Thrash. You've really captured the essence of squid tentacle. Yes. That's all I've wanted in my life, is to capture the essence of tentacle. And I thrashed him. Aha! Oh, I am coming third this time. So, that is Battle Chef Brigade, or the demo anyway. There's a lot more to story stuff, and in between missions you can do side quests, which are just puzzles or fighting things, and, um, you know, buy equipment stuff in the campaign. But, you know, that's uh, for a much longer look, which I might do in the future, but not yet. Maybe when the full game comes out I'll do a playthrough, because that'll be fun. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I shall see you all later. Bye!